Think of certain images to do with our wonderful British monarchy. There are so many iconic images. And it's all really about the generation that you're in. You know, for myself, I think I remember truly taking notice of our late and wonderful Her Majesty the Queen at her Silver Jubilee. You know, because you're that young, you kind of think, what's this all about? And you're fascinated, aren't you, at that point, you know? Who is this woman that's getting adoration, wandering around the streets, meeting and greeting people, that sort of thing? But then, of course, as you look through the history, you can see there's bigger iconic pictures, really, for many different, as I say, generations. You can look at the fact, for instance, that way back in the late 40s, it would have been the royal wedding of Princess Elizabeth and Prince Philip. So many people were excited. Naturally, that was followed by the wonderful coronation of 1953, with everybody buying TVs and really going to town on the celebrations. Of course, for many generations now, they will look upon this particular picture, this iconic picture on the balcony of Buckingham Palace for, some might say, the very last time of seeing our wonderful monarch in working mode. It was a difficult picture for her, but more importantly, who really was behind making sure that Her Majesty the Queen met her subjects for the very last time? And this may surprise you, as ever, let me explain. Morning, Neil Sean here. Nice to see you as ever. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you as ever for your company today. You know, it's interesting, isn't it? Because a lot of people look at this image, me in particular, and did wonder at that moment in time just how frail her, her late and wonderful majesty was because we were getting very conflicting reports of which I was sharing with you. But of course, there were insider reports that said things were a little bit graver than we all first thought. Now, when Her Majesty did appear on the balcony at that Platinum Jubilee celebrations, there was simply a magnificent roar in the crowd, naturally. And you could see she was visibly overcome. Now, it's recently been you know, reported that actually the instrumental person behind that was the king, in fact, who was then, of course, His Royal Highness Prince Charles. He put on, basically, a rallying call to his mother at Windsor and said, you really must try your very best to come down and say, you know, hello to all of these wonderful people who have come out here to celebrate your Platinum Jubilee. She was so moved by that, genuinely. Lots of things were put into operation, a helicopter to bring her there, all that sort of stuff. And then you may have read, of course, that Her Majesty the Queen engineered a very, very great manoeuvre, out manoeuvring, should we say, the world's media, because she did not want to be spotted in the use of a wheelchair. This is because it brought back terrible memories for her of her late and very much loved sister, Princess Margaret. You see, Princess Margaret was wheeled out for that very final celebration for the Queen Mother. And there was a mistake, you see, because Princess Margaret said that she would like to attend. And that particular person looking after her that day, who shall remain nameless, decided to wheel her out. It was something that horrified the Queen because she knew her late sister wouldn't want to be viewed upon like that. She wanted to be viewed as vital, glamorous, all of that sort of stuff. So the Queen knew herself exactly how to play this. And obviously not many people knew that Her Majesty the Queen was in fact using a wheelchair. But the final icing on the cake was truly this young man. It was his personal message to Her Majesty the Queen. Of course, he stood next to her on the balcony saying, you know, please, if you can, come down and say hello. We'd all love to see you. And that really explains the beaming light, doesn't it, from his eyes. You can see that he's in complete adoration of, of course, the Queen. Looking at history, looking out at his history, and more importantly now, possibly looking back at this picture, wondering exactly what he thought when he was standing there as such a young boy. But truly, apparently according to a very good source, it was Prince George that put the final seal on Her Majesty the Queen, meeting, some might say, her many subjects for the very last time. And truly, we have a lot to thank George for. What a wonderful, iconic picture. And once again, thank you very much, Mom, for all your wonderful service. Neil Sean in the very heart of England.